In this video, I'm going to teach you about transformer basics. This is the third video in a series I'm doing to cover basic electronics. A transformer is a type of an inductor. An inductor in its basic form is a winding of wire that generates a magnetic field when a current is applied. An inductor converts some applied electrical current into a magnetic field. When the current is removed, the magnetic field collapses and induces a current in the inductor. In this way, an inductor is similar to a capacitor in that it can temporarily store some energy. The biggest difference is a capacitor resists voltage change and an inductor resists current change. A typical transformer is two sets of windings of wire that share a central ferromagnetic core. When an alternating current is applied to one winding in a transformer, it creates an alternating magnetic field around the ferromagnetic core and the second winding. This induces a current in the second winding. If the windings are identical on both halves of a transformer, it is considered an isolation transformer, and the output is the same as the input. The input side of the transformer is called the primary winding. The output side is called the secondary winding. A transformer blocks DC current applied to the primary winding from reaching the secondary winding. If the primary side has more windings than the secondary side, it is considered a step-down transformer. A step-down transformer has less voltage but more amperage available on the secondary than is applied to the primary. A step-up transformer has more windings on the secondary than on the primary. On a step-up transformer, the secondary produces more voltage but less amperage than is applied to the primary. Transformers are also used for impedance matching to couple devices of differing impedance such as speakers and power amplifiers. It is possible for a transformer to have more than two sets of windings or to have multiple taps on the windings to emulate multiple sets of windings. This allows the same transformer to provide the required output when connected to different supply voltages. It also allows the transformer to drive loads of different impedance or provide multiple output voltages simultaneously. Tube electronics such as guitar amps often have the primary which connects to a 115 volt wall outlet, a high voltage secondary that can produce around 500 volts, and a filament supply that produces around 6.3 volts. Some even have a tube rectifier supply that produces 5 volts, plus a bias supply tap of around 50 volts. A device similar to a transformer in appearance is a choke. A choke is a single winding on a ferromagnetic core, like half of a transformer. A choke is used in a filter circuit to eliminate AC ripple on a DC supply. A choke only has two wires compared to a transformer which has at minimum four wires. There are other transformer configurations used mostly in power distribution that are beyond the scope of small personal and commercial electronics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.